Hi guys, welcome to the third installment of this mini series I'm putting together all about AI audio mixing tools. In this video, I'm gonna be exploring an online platform called Cryomix, which on the face of it is very simple. You simply upload a beat and a vocal, and it will then mix and master that track for you. But there's a bit more to it going on under the hood, so let's jump on in and take a look at Cryomix. So this is the Cryomix homepage. They describe themselves as having a game-changing online AI mixing and mastering tool that can produce uh, unbelievable results. They do have a number of different tools. So there's the AI mixing and mastering, or you can just master your tracks. There's also a beat optimizer and audio separator. And you'll notice that the language of this in terms of things like beat optimizer and drop your beat here is kind of geared towards a particular uh, market, really. I think it's really that kind of rap uh, kind of market that they're aiming for and not necessarily what I'm gonna be using it for, which is to see how it gets on mixing that live uh, recording uh, that I've been working on in my previous two videos. So all we can do from here is drop our beat, lead vocal, and um, recently they've also added this option to um, include a backing vocal. So it tells you, you know, gives you some advice, you know, raw, no effects, uh, the sort of file sizes and the formats. So let's go ahead and uh, add in our stems. So I'm going to put in an instrumental. So this is just, um, obviously all the different stems apart from the vocals. Then I've got my lead vocals. Should we apply pitch correction tuning? Let's go for no. Again, you know, if you're looking for that auto-tune effect, that could be something that you can add in here as well. And then finally our backing vocal. And once those have uploaded, we can then hit start mixing and it will start the mixing process. Okay, that's now finished. So we can hit the start mixing button and this will then start the process of the AI mixing it. And you can see in this little box, it's doing some AI vocal analysis, got a little meter here uh, that's creeping up. And um, let's see how long this process takes. Um, in my previous video, when I was looking at uh, row X from Unchained Music, it took about four or five minutes to mix the track. Um, so let's see if this can uh, improve on that at all. Okay, wow, so that only took um, like less than a minute. And now uh, we can hit play. Here are a, a, a sample of the mix and adjust the lead and backing vocals. We also have the ability to um, come into the mix, which is something that we didn't have in uh, row X and for each of our layers, apply different processing. So for the lead vocal, we can apply EQ correction. Um, and for each of these, it's kind of give you um, some guidance as to what it's actually doing. So there's a lot of actually quite complex and uh, detailed um, processing that we can do here, even adding pitch correction and uh, this magic touch, which actually fills in uh, any long silences with a reverb effect as well. So quite a lot of different experimentation that we could possibly do with this. We have a similar set of processing for the um, backing and ad lib, but notice there's also things like this wide effect as well. So if you want to keep your backing vocals uh, out to the side, which is quite nice. And then with the beat itself, it's really just uh, kind of an EQ uh, and width control. So um, my first impression just listening to that sample is it actually sounds pretty good, pretty well mixed. I'm going to leave everything kind of where it was for now. Uh, and now we can just hit start mastering and it will start then um, mastering the track for us. Okay, again, very fast. That took less than a minute. And we can now listen to the original mix and then compare it to the master. So I'm quite impressed, that actually sounds really decent. Uh, from here, we can download the mixed beat, the mixed vocals, and a final master. Um, this is limited to 20 seconds, as um, I haven't subscribed. This is currently just a free demo. Um, if you want to get the full access, you need to upgrade to one of their packages. They've also got this AI lyric analysis tool, uh, which is a new thing you can do. And like with the advanced mixing uh, phase, we can also uh, tweak uh, aspects of the final master. So it might be that we want to improve the loudness, 
uh, again, the kind of tonal balance and the width. So there's a lot more um, we can do and it's a lot quicker. So let's say we wanted to um, you know, improve the EQ correction. If we're not sure what that means, we can just uh, look, hover over this little question mark and it'll tell us. Uh, let's say we wanted to go for something a bit louder as well, um, maybe reduce the width, increase the bass, something like that, um, and hit save and generate. And then the next master will take presumably a similar amount of time, um, like it's done it already, like super quick. And now we can quickly compare to see how that sounds. So that is actually really quite impressive. Let's now download the uh, 20 second samples and put that back into Logic and compare it with what we were able to achieve using Unchained and also our rough unmixed mix. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the content. Just to let you know that we offer online courses in a range of creative subjects. So if you're interested in taking your skills and knowledge to the next level, check out the link below. Okay, so I've got the files from Crymix back into the Logic project that we started with in my earlier videos. And now I can compare what Crymix has done with this mix against the original unmixed reference track, and then also the mix that we got from uh, the Row X uh, Studio as well. We've also got our master here if we want to compare, but you'll notice I've only got 20 seconds because I haven't upgraded my account on Crymix. So uh, we won't be able to check some of the idiosyncrasies that I mentioned in my other video, like the differences in how the kind of level of backing vocals and things was handled. And whereas you can get the final master as a downloaded file, you can't get the final mix, you only get these mixed stems. But in a way that's good because it gives you that additional flexibility to mix these uh, levels uh, of the stems if you want to within your DAW as well. So let's start by comparing the cryo mix then with our unreferenced mix. So it sounds a lot brighter, similar to the Row X mix in that regard, but actually sounds a bit better kind of pulled together, a bit more cohesive and better balanced tonally overall than the, uh, the, uh, Row, the Row, uh X mix that we had uh, as well, which we'll compare it to now, but certainly a big improvement on the unmixed uh, version, which is quite sort of uneven and um, a bit too bassy. So let's um, compare it now with the Unchained Music Row X mix that we had as well. So I think the big difference there is that the vocal is sitting a lot better in the mix and that may be just down to the way that Crymix tends to be set up geared more towards putting a vocal over uh, an instrumental. Um, but it's quite close but I do think that Crymix in this instance uh, has the edge over Row X. But I think where it really comes into its own is that if there were any differences uh, that we wanted to go away and tweak we could simply come back onto the platform, come into you know, any of our uh, individual uh, channels, if you like, or stems, and apply all sorts of kind of uh, correction. You can see the uh, processing that it's put on here, but let's say we wanted more long reverb or less short reverb or whatever it is, we could easily do that. And because it's quite quick to process, it's not gonna take very long to get a sense of how those uh, changes are affecting our mix um, or indeed our master, because we can apply the same kind of processing decisions uh, to our advanced master as well. So for example, you can see at the moment, the loudness is turned up quite high. Let's go back into Logic and um, see how the master stands up. So 
So it sounds pretty hot. Um, again, probably because this is really designed for uh, kind of uh, you know rap music, and this particular master probably doesn't need to be that hot. You know, it's coming at kind of minus eight lufts, which is quite aggressive for this style of music. So the great thing about this is that we can come in, we could turn the loudness right down, hit generate, uh, create a new master that is going to be a uh, presumably uh, not quite as loud. Let's see what it does. Let's download that and compare it. Okay, great. So now we can instantly see that actually uh, this is a much more dynamic and uh, sort of slightly less loud or quite a lot less, uh, considerably less loud master. <laughs> So certainly compared to uh, Row X, we have a lot more flexibility here to go in, adjust a lot of these parameters. And again, it doesn't require a huge amount of mixing knowledge, but it gives you enough there that if you do have a bit of mixing knowledge, you can get some pretty good results pretty quickly. So despite its deceptively simple user interface, Cryomix actually has a lot going on under the hood that allows you to really shape and choose how you want the AI to mix and also master your tracks. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Hit that like and subscribe button to get more videos like this from us here at DBS delivered straight into your inbox. And stay tuned for more videos about music and music production on the DBS channel. And I'll see you in the next one.